we've been using expressions throughout the course from the very first section all the way even for animation and visualization we use expressions this is one of the most powerful aspects of qgs where a, you can use qgs functions and expressions to customize any part of qgs with the computed value and this is a lot of applications i'm going to teach you a couple of expressions at you know Advan more advanced than other expressions we've used, and they can really solve very complex problems. So we'll go through a small presentation and then learn about this advanced expressions. We're going to learn about this expression called aggregate. This is just one expression, but it's a powerhouse of functionality. You can solve almost all geospatial problems with just one expression. So learning this expression will allow you to do so many things which were otherwise not possible or you don't have a ready-made tool. By learning this, you'll be able to Say, I want to do this analysis. There's no built-in tool. I can write a 200-line Python script, or I can learn this expression and write one line of code using this expression, and it'll do all my work for you. So that's why it's very powerful, and we'll go through some use cases as well as how the function works. Let's see how this function works. If you have your regular expressions, it works on a single layer. So imagine this is a layer I have represented this one shape file or one vector layer as in this blue box. A layer is a collection of attributes and geometry. So you can see blue box is one layer. So let's say one polygon layer or one line layer. And when you write an expression, you say field calculator or you're writing expression as a geometry generator, you write an expression, that expression can look at one feature. So whatever feature is trying to compute, it'll look at the geometry or the attribute of the geometry. So you'll say field calculator, you know, field A plus field B. So you write an expression, and this expression is then evaluated for each feature. As the expression is being evaluated, it can look at all the attributes of that feature and the geometry of the feature. This is how all the expressions that we've used have worked. So if you remember the very first part of the course where we said regex match, and we gave a regular expression, that expression was matched against the attribute ref of each feature, and it went through this. This is how most expressions work. But if you look at the aggregate function, it is able to look at an entire another layer alongside the current feature and the attributes and geometry of the current feature. So an aggregate function, if you write an aggregate function for a feature, it can look at the attribute and the geometry of the current feature alongside an entire another layer. And it gets evaluated. So when it evaluates for the second feature, it looks at that features attributes and geometry along with entire another layer. And this opens up a lot of possibilities because if you think about what's happening here, this is the whole domain of spatial analysis. All of the GIS is essentially looking at multiple layers and evaluating the spatial relationship. That means now your expressions can do GIS within this expression. So we'll see how to kind of write those expressions and use this. Remember the terminology, whenever you're writing an aggregate expression, Whatever you refer to, so we'll say double quotes attribute one or geometry, you are always referring to the geometry of the layer two. So when you say attribute one in your aggregate expression, you're always referring to this layer two. If you say geometry, it could be geometry of layer two. If you want to refer to the attribute or the geometry of this layer one where you're writing expression, they are known as parent. So if you say attribute of parent, it is this, if you just say attribute or geometry, it is the features from layer two. So just remember that terminology, you'll encounter parent a lot when you're writing the expression. This is referring to the layer one's attribute and geometry. Let's learn how to write the expression where we can look at two layers at a time and compute some results. This is the syntax of an aggregate expression. It takes many parameters. Some of them are optional. You have to give a layer Whenever you say in aggregate function, layer name, the layer name is always referring to layer two. So you're writing aggregate expressions in layer one. So you say field calculator, and whatever layer you're writing, that's your layer one. The layer that you define within the aggregate is the layer two. So I'm writing an expression, what other layer we want to look at. So that's your layer here. So the layer name refers to the other layer that you want to look at. Aggregate. So for the function, we'll go and find all the features from this layer two, and what do you want to compute from layer two? So that's the aggregate. Do you want a count of features from layer two? Do you want min, max, sum, 
Do you want just array, like the list of all the features and so on? So you can compute any of those values from all the features you found from layer two. Expression, you have layer two. What do you want to extract from layer two? So if you put some field name, you'll say, I'll find the field name, field value for that field from layer two. If you want geometry, you can extract those and so on. Filter, this is the most useful part of the aggregate. Rarely you want to look at all the features from layer two. So I have one feature and I say, I want to evaluate this some value of this feature in relation to some features from layer two, mostly the features that intersect or are around that feature. So the filter allows you to specify a condition and say, don't look at all the features from layer two, look at only the features that intersect the current feature and do something with it. And that's what gives the power of the aggregate expression that it's able to say, I want to evaluate something for this feature using the intersecting features from another layer. So you can define the feature. And then this two are optional, we'll see an example. But almost all aggregate functions will require these four parameters, the layer, the other layer that you want to look at, the aggregate, what you want to compute, expression, what you want to extract, and filter, what features from layer two you want to use. 